Welcome. Welcome to the Kane Reloaded Show. This is your boy 305 Kane. And this is your boy DJ Reloaded. Before we get started, we need y'all to smash that like button. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell that's right next to that so you can get notified whenever we go live. And don't forget to share the video to your friends and family. Let them know all of the great content we bring here at the Kane Reloaded Show. If you're watching this on Facebook, I know it's going to take you to your web browser. Go over there to the app, type in the Canaan Reloaded Show, hit that subscribe button, do that for us, do it for DJ Reloaded. <laughs> but that's what we need y'all to do, y'all. But before we get started, well, as we get started, the topic of the night is black man gets put in a chokehold in a bodega in New York. How you feel about it, DJ Reloaded? I mean, I watched the video a couple of times. Um, you know, what I was looking for is the evidence of what was going on, right? They say they, they was accusing him of shoplifting. Um, you know, one, you know, one one of the men were on a was on his back laying down, restraining him. Um, another gentleman, um, uh, I think he's the manager of the store. Or the owner of the store was, you know, just you know, just standing next to the situation. <clears throat> you know, customers are coming around screaming, um, you know, and, and you know, pretty much asking them to let the man up, you know, and you know, uh, about like a minute and twenty five into the video, um, you can hear one of the one of the gentlemen said that he has zero uh, tolerance for shoplifters, and he doesn't see color. Um, you know, it was becoming a, 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 a nasty situation and it was becoming a color, a, a story about color and race. Um, my thing and my take on the video, um, is I don't think, you know, if the man was shoplifting, um, they have every right to restrain. Um, they have every right to stop him. Um, but if he wasn't shoplifting, shoplifting and they, they 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 held him down they called the police on him he was arrested if he wasn't shoplifting he's gonna he's gonna be paid mm. you know so i don't you know the biggest take and the biggest thing that i i found discussed with is how he was speaking to the black women mm. i didn't like that at all you know um you know and i know they did protest at that store you know that was the that was the the again when he when they were he was talking to the black women and and the way he was he was speaking to the sisters you know i understand frustrations i understand everybody's upset but you still gotta handle your, 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 your yourself in a professional way these are the people who you sell your products to if the brothers if the brothers innocent i hope that they, they protest and i hope that people stop shopping at that food market you know, at the end of the day, the people are your resources. The people are what keep you going. Now, if the brother was shoplifting, okay, I get it. I'm not going to compare every situation to George Floyd and what happened to him. Because every situation ain't George Floyd. I didn't see I didn't see the fact, I didn't see them with a knee in his neck, the man was laying down on him. And I, I don't want us to take every situation that happens in our community as a racial situation. We got to get the facts first. I don't, I, I'm not up in arms because I, I want to see the video proof that he was shoplifting, not, not word of mouth. I want to see the video evidence. If there's evidence that he was shoplifting, put it out there. If there is none and because I know the brother was already released from prison. He's going to be paid. If. And if it was a fifth, we all be drunk. But to me, I think, um, you know, when I look at that situation, I watched the whole video multiple times. Um, to me, I felt like the, own, the shop owner, he, he they, they caught him and he was trying to get away. And they restrained him. Now, 
what I tried, what I got from the video was that you had people start to try to manipulate the situation as to turn it towards a racial thing when I don't believe it was. And for the way he restrained him, he didn't he didn't apply pressure to his neck. He never locked his arms. He never really put him in a choke. He never wrapped his arm completely around his neck and he never applied pressure to his neck. He reached around, grabbed his arms. He may have grabbed his head a couple times, but unless you have your arm under the neck, you're not really gonna do nothing but cause discomfort for the person. And that's what it was, mostly discomfort. You know, if a pe person put a face grip on you, you're gonna have discomfort, but you're not gonna choke out. You're not gonna go to sleep. Um, you're just not gonna like it. And he laid on top of him. Now that could have been an issue of, you know, him laying all his body weight on him. But when I listened to the man talking and stuff, the man was really at the beginning before it all got all super hyped up. He was calm, really. And he was just like, what I stole? Show me what I stole. He was just calm. He was really to go through it. But then when you have the ladies yelling, you have other people yelling and and like, you know, you say the way he was talking to the lady. But, you know, from from my wife being Jamaican, I know what suck your mother. Means. I know what that means. <laughs> I know I know what know what she was telling him to do, you know, and I know how she and how offensive to foreigners that really is. You know, it's it's like calling somebody from Miami a F nigga. You know, it's the same thing, you know, in, in their terms. So I could understand the frustration of going back and forth with the women. They never got aggressive with any of the women. They didn't come at them or nothing like that. He just spoke his piece and he actually said he been supporting his neighborhood the whole time, but he will not tolerate shoplifters. You know, it's not about color. He don't see color. And that's the problem was, like he was saying, I kind of feel him on that. They tried to turn it into a color thing, you know, and and like he said, you know, he, he didn't, he don't see color. Might be a lie, but, you know, just the simple fact of the way they was coming at him, of course, people was going to get a little frustrated and come back and forth and go back and forth with a person if someone's coming at me if someone's telling me to go suck my mother guess what i'm gonna do <laughs> i'm gonna be i'm gonna be ready to get up on them then at that point so you know i can understand it is what i'm saying and i didn't see the man in too much of any harm from a standpoint of knowing how to choke somebody I, I i put you in a full body lock and put you in put a triangle lock on your body and put you in and don't even have to choke you and you still won't be able to breathe so i i understand technique in different moves and mm -hmm. different situations especially with jujitsu you know learn different things i didn't see him applying too much pressure to any any point of choking the man so you know i just felt from what I saw, he just re restraining him. He did lay on top of him. He did have it, but it wasn't multiple people. Um, you know, he he was holding them down, and that can't tire a person out, make them uncomfortable. And that's what I really think that situation was was an uncomfortable situation. But I don't think it was a he was threatening his life, choking him or anything like that. Right. I mean, again, but, I just wait. Hold on for you. But in that video. He did try to grab his neck and then thought about it and took it off. He did. Now he reached for it, grabbed it, and he took it off. He did. I just wanted to that. But but that's again, the women was calling him out. And he didn't like it. I know one lady, you know, said, We don't need this because we support the store. Um, and he responded, Honey, I support everybody in this neighborhood. If there's no black stores in the neighborhood, you really can't support everybody. Um, and I don't know that I'm, I'm just speaking, right? Um, but when you still have zero tolerance, I don't see color. You see color because you are, you're a fool. You're, you're, you know, up in, you're, you're a fucking fool. You're ignorant. Um, you stupid fool. And this, and that's how he was speaking to the lady. So, you, you know, suck one, you know, whatever she said, you know, I don't, I don't speak that. Guava oh, guava. Mother. But again, to me, I didn't see them trying to hurt. I seen them trying to restrain. My take on it is 
you know, when with everything going on, you know, you have to understand, you, you know, the situation. And I just didn't like the way that he he was speaking to the women. You know, I'm, I'm I love my sisters, no matter how much fire they have in their bellies. I love them. I'm always going to support and stand behind them. That's a fact. And get down in that comment section. Let us know how you feel about the situation. We will try to leave a link in the description to show you the video. And look at that video and you give us your comments on it. Respond back and let us know how you feel about the situation. I know DJ Reloaded most likely going to post it to the Facebook page or it's probably already on there. So if you don't get it in the link, go over there to the Cannon Reloaded Facebook page. It should be up there somewhere. We post a lot of good content over there. If you don't, if you're not a part of the Canaan Reloaded show on all media platforms, you need to get a part of it. Yes, With that being said, this has been your boy 305 Kane. And it's your boy DJ Reloaded. Before we get out of here, smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscription button. It's the notification bell right next to it. If you're watching this video, hit that arrow under the video and share this video to your friends and family. And please, 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 if you're watching this on Facebook, and take it to your web browser. Get over there to YouTube. Type in the Kane Reloaded Show. Hit that subscribe button. Do it for DJ Reloaded. Do it for the DJ. <laughs> Peace and love, family. Peace and love. Sit.